So now we're going to look at how we can make changes to our dentist class to avoid the problem that we saw before, where when we add a new patient to a clone, it gets added both to the clone and the original object that the clone was based on. And to do this, we need to change the behavior of the clone method in the dentist class. So I'm going to comment this out. And instead, what I'm going to do is create a new dentist object that's going to be the copy. And we're going to give that the same name and use of experience that the current object has. When we do that, it's going to, we're obviously calling the constructor of this class, which makes a completely new array list in memory. So this is very key. And then we can simply add all of the patients that were in this dentist to the new one. So for string p in this.patients, patient p. And then we're going to return the copy. So what we see here is that we've created a new dentist instance called copy that has the same name and years of experience and then we add all of the same patients. So in every way, this new dentist is the same as the, the original that we're working with. The only difference is it has its own array list in memory with its patients. So we won't run into the problem where if we add a patient to one, it will add it to both of them. So let's go back over here and run our program again. And we see now when we've added Petunia to dentist two, it's she's only added as a patient to Dr. Chomper and not to both dentists, which is exactly what we want.